Hey, my name is Austin Bowler, and today I want to talk about a transmission problem we see all the time in this industry. One of the most common setups we see in street rods is a 700R4 transmission behind an aftermarket carburetor, such as a Holley or an Edelbrock. And while these are good products, do you know that most aftermarket carburetors and throttle body injection systems are made to work with the transmission that uses a kickdown cable? Now, kickdown cables are only used for passing gear. And while a 700 and 200 transmission have a cable system, it is not a kickdown cable. On these transmissions, the cable system works directly with the throttle valve. It controls the transmission's line pressure and shift points, meaning the transmission's performance and lifespan depend on the cable being set correctly. This is why it becomes a problem when used with a carburetor not designed for a throttle valve cable. When hooked up directly to the carburetor, it's very unlikely that the cable will operate correctly. This can cause poor shift quality or at worst, dangerously low line pressure while driving. This is the valve that increases pressure as you increase throttle. Here we can see how the TV cable works with the throttle valve. As the cable pulls out, it strokes the valve. So this means at wide open throttle, this would be your highest pressure, and at no throttle, your lowest pressure. Now the mistake most people make is they set the cable to be tight at wide open throttle which would be correct. But the problem is, as you come down to say normal drive range, if the geometry of your setup is not correct, you can end up possibly in this dead space where you'll have no pressure increase or simply just not enough pressure increase at a normal driving range, which will cause your transmission to burn up extremely early. On the other hand, you can end up correct at wide open throttle and then too high pressure at normal drive range, which will result in poor shift quality. While it is possible to make the cable function well enough to drive safely, it can be a very painful process. This includes a lot of cable adjustment trial and error while reading transmission pressure with a gauge. And it's very easy to burn up the transmission while you're doing this. A common misconception is that setting the cable to be tight at wide open throttle is the proper adjustment. And this is not the case, as it will only ensure proper adjustment while you're at wide open throttle. Under normal drive range, the transmission can suffer. There are many correction kits on the market, but none address the root of the problem, the geometry of the cable system. All aspects, from the length of the cable, the starting point, the height, and the cable pull ratio come into play. At Bowler Performance, we developed our TrueShift throttle correction system to address these issues. The TrueShift is made to replicate the geometry of the original factory GM systems, ensuring the cable functions exactly as intended even when used with aftermarket carburetors. This prevents the transmission from burning up due to low pressure settings and creates optimal shift points. Our TrueShift works with most popular aftermarket four barrel carburetors and aftermarket throttle body injection systems. Because the TrueShift recreates the factory geometry, it makes the setup extremely easy. Once the brackets and correction arm are installed, simply hook up the cable and crank the arm to wide open throttle. The cable will ratchet out and set where it needs to be. That's all there is to it. There is no need to pull the transmission pan or mess around with pressure gauges. Our TrueShift system will make your time in the garage easier make your transmission perform better, and get you shifting ahead of the competition.